Efficient earthing or grounding forms the backbone of electrical safety and performance. It provides a low resistance path for fault currents to flow into the earth, preventing dangerous voltage buildup that could lead to injuries or equipment failure. Various standards guide the design, installation, and maintenance of earthing systems to ensure safety, reliability, and effectiveness in diverse applications. Key standards and their applicability, IS Standards India, IS 3043 outlines a comprehensive code of practice for designing and maintaining earthing systems. It emphasizes safety measures for fault current dissipation and protective device operation. IS 2309 offers guidelines on lightning protection for buildings, reducing risks from electrical surges caused by lightning strikes. IS 7689 addresses protection against static electricity, which is particularly critical in industries where flammable materials or sensitive electronic equipment are involved. British Standards, BS 7430 1990 deals with earthing practices in general scenarios. However, it does not account for the specific challenges posed by solid-state electronics, making it more suited to traditional applications. IEEE Standards United States, IEEE 80 provides guidelines for substation grounding grids, focusing on safety and effective dissipation of fault currents. Many utilities rely on empirical formulas from IEEE 80 in the absence of specialized software. IEEE 837 specifies testing regimes to validate earthing systems performance. IEEE 142 covers industrial and commercial power system grounding but excludes considerations related to, to electromagnetic impulses from lightning addressed by IEC 61312. IEEE 1100 is tailored for grounding electronic equipment, considering high-frequency components like RF and video signals. However, it does not delve into lightning protection, presenting limitations in certain applications. International Standards IEC 61312 examines protection against lightning-induced electromagnetic impulses. The standard assumes lightning current distribution patterns that differ from real-world observations, highlighting the complexity of lightning protection design. NFPA Standards United States, NFPA 780-1997 sets standards for lightning protection systems but omits crucial subsystems like lightning detectors, strike counters, and specific grounding electrode designs. Each standard provides valuable insights into particular aspects of earthing, yet gaps remain, requiring customized approaches for specific scenarios like electronic equipment grounding or advanced lightning protection. Importance and Objectives of Earthing Earthing serves multiple critical purposes, ensuring electrical systems operate safely and efficiently, safety, prevents hazardous potentials from developing on non-life parts, protecting personnel, and reducing fire risks caused by earth fault currents. System stability stabilizes voltage levels under normal and fault conditions, mitigating excessive peaks during disturbances. Protective device functionality enables sufficient fault current flow for effective operation of protective devices like circuit breakers. Lightning and surge protection safeguards systems against voltage surges from lightning strikes, reducing potential damage to equipment. Earthing systems are meticulously designed to balance safety and performance, allowing for high-magnitude fault currents to dissipate without compromising service continuity. Methods of earthing, different methods of earthing cater to varied system requirements, solid earthing, direct connection to the earth, providing a simple and effective grounding solution. Resistance earthing, employs resistors to limit fault current, reducing the risk of equipment damage. Reactance earthing incorporates inductive elements for controlled grounding. Ground fault neutralizers, special systems for suppressing arcing grounds in electrical networks. Earthing transformers creates neutral grounding points, particularly useful in transformer configurations. Proper selection of an earthing method ensures protection from overvoltages, facilitates fault isolation, and maintains voltage stability across the system. Earthing versus grounding, while earthing and grounding are often perceived as synonymous, their nuances set them apart. Earthing refers specifically to connecting electrical systems to the Earth's potential, ensuring safety in fault conditions. Grounding, in scenarios like aircraft, grounding does not involve Earth potential but establishes a reference point for voltage exposure. For example, an aircraft's body serves as a ground bus, enabling el electrical functionality without Earth connection. Additionally, system grounding refers to intentional grounding of a conductor or neutral point within a system, while equipment grounding involves connecting conductive enclosures or adjacent materials to a grounded path for safety.
Electrical safety is paramount, and plate earthing plays a critical role in providing a safe path for fault currents, preventing electrical hazards. Plate earthing involves embedding a conductive metal plate typically copper, galvanized iron, or steel vertically in the ground. This plate serves as a low resistance path for electrical currents during faults, protecting both personnel and equipment. Key components of plate earthing, the plate, central component made of corrosion-resistant material, sized based on soil conditions and current requirements. The conductor, copper or aluminum wire connected to the plate, carrying fault currents safely to the grounding system. Backfill material, conductive material like coke breeze improves grounding efficiency in poor soil conditions. The electrode includes the plate and additional buried conductors for enhanced effectiveness. Advantages, protects equipment by diverting fault currents away. Reduces risks of electrical shocks and fire. Reliable and durable due to corrosion-resistant materials. Adaptable to varying loads and scalable for diverse applications. Alternative methods, rod earthing, uses a metal rod driven into the ground, compact but less effective in certain soils. Strip earthing employs horizontal flat conductors, suitable for substations with ample space. Installation process involves strategic planning, excavation, plate placement, conductor connection, use of optional backfill material, and adherence to safety standards. Proper execution ensures effectiveness and compliance with regulations. Plate earthing offers a robust solution for grounding electrical systems, safeguarding people and property while adhering to safety norms. It's a long-lasting, efficient, and customizable approach to ensuring electrical safety in homes, industries, and power systems. Design considerations for safe earthing systems. The effectiveness of earthing systems depends on rigorous design parameters, impedance management. Grounding conductors must have low impedance to safely carry fault currents without creating dangerous voltage drops. Thermal stability. Grounding components must withstand high temperatures generated during fault conditions without sparking or overheating. Protection against voltage gradients, suppressing potential differences on the Earth's surface ensures safe operation of control and protective devices. Efficient earthing minimizes risks like electrical shocks, fires, and equipment damage, making it an indispensable feature of modern electrical systems. The coefficient of earthing, an important parameter in earthing design is the coefficient of earthing, which quantifies voltage stability during fault conditions. The voltages of the healthy phases under fault conditions do not exceed 80% of the line-to-line -line system voltage. This ensures stable system behavior during faults and prevents dangerous over-voltages from occurring. Earthing objectives in practice, in principle, a well-designed earthing system aims to allow fault currents to safely flow into the earth, protecting equipment and personnel. Stabilize system voltages and suppress hazardous gradients. Support proper operation of protective devices under fault conditions. Enhance reliability and continuity of service. Ultimately, earthing is a critical element of electrical systems, providing safety, stability, and protection against faults and surges. Its design and implementation, guided by established standards, are vital for preventing accidents and ensuring efficient system operation.